Hello, wonderful students. Today we're going to learn about the plan portion of your thesis. Now remember, a thesis has three parts, subject, opinion, and plan. Today, we're going to focus a little bit more on the plan. What is the plan? It's exactly how you're going to prove your opinion. The exact way. That's it. It's as simple as that. Now, some people call the plan the because, whichever one works for you. Plan, because, it's all the same. Too many students try to wing an essay. They get the prompt and they just start writing and it never works. Why? Because they don't have a plan and they have no idea where they're going. They're kind of like a hiker without a map they wander off the trail, they get lost, and you know what happens then. It's usually not very good. The hiker wanders around getting more lost and more lost, just like your essay is wandering around and not proving your opinion. And like the hiker who grows weaker and weaker, so does your essay. You don't wanna do that. In fact, usually what happens to those hikers, they give up. Don't do that. You don't need to. You just need a plan, a map. That's it. And then you know right where you're going. Now for shorter in-class essays, I usually just jot some things in the corner of a paper. You're going to have a typed paper. You can still do the same thing if you want. For longer papers, I make a whole outline but that's another essay. Right now, we're just going to talk about the plan and how to get one. I don't know about you, but when I get an essay, I don't wanna spend a lot of time staring into the abyss. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's not fun. I wanna get that essay done, over with, bam. I don't know about you, but I like to find the easy way to do things. Staring into the abyss, staring around, just, yeah, not a good use of your time. How do you formulate a plan? Glad you asked. Truth. This is the thinking part. The plan is the thinking part. Sorry. Right? Ugh. I don't want to think. Yeah, but this is the toughest part. So if you do the thinking part during the plan, you've set up the rest of your essay for a really good chance of success. Trust me on this. There is a billion different ways to make a plan. Only you can figure out which way is the best. How do you do that? A lot of it is going to be about what your opinion was and what your subject is. Think of a plan like this. Have you ever been on a website and you can't find anything because the drop down menus just don't make any sense and things aren't organized. That's how you need to organize your essay, like a website. Think of your plan as the drop down menu. Take a look at my own website or the school's website, right? You can see the subject, which would be the school, or for my website, it's my name. You see the opinion, which we could say is, you know, what it's about, correct? And for, for me, it's that I teach language arts. And then those little boxes at the top where you click them and there's the drop down menu, that's the organization. That's your plan. Those are your pages. Think of it this way. Those are your pages. And then when you click them, you have the drop down menu, right? The drop down menu is all your evidence. Bam. Here's an example. Could you write a paragraph of all of those things? Of course you could. Could you find evidence in your own life? Um, yeah, probably. Could you make every part of those pages in your website be related to self-motivation? Absolutely. Let's try another example that's a whole lot less depressing. There it is.
there simply isn't just a one size fits all plan for all essays. Once again, it's about the subject matter and about the opinion. But once you think, really think about what those pages are going to be on your website and what you're going to include on those drop down menus, bam, you have it. And you really need to write it down because if you're like me, you forget stuff. Like the idea comes in and it's gone the next, especially if you're in the middle of a paragraph, you're like, what was I going to say again? That's why jotting it down works. Creating the plan is really just one of the tougher parts. But once you have it, the essay is pretty easy because all you do is follow the plan and plug in the, all of your opinions and your evidence. So let's recap. What is the plan? It's how you will prove your essay. Think of it as a website. The subject is whatever you're talking about. The pages, that bar afterwards where you can click all those things, that is your plan. You click one of those pages, a drop down menu comes, that is your evidence. And there you have it. The thesis. You got this. Really? That's it for today, students. Stay smart. Bye-bye.